by referring decentralized social network, we're actually referring many things, like we're referring the, the protocol and the application and people running the application, people running the relayer or client, because you have to have like someone running a server like something. And there's many VC, you know, a group of people. And maybe there's some non-profits, you know, non-VC stuff. So if you mean that group of people together, decentralized social network, whether they're going to, you know, replace the current centralized social network like Facebook, Twitter, WeChat, the answer is definitely yes, right? I mean, it's, it's a historical trend you cannot stop. But if you mean like any specific one, um, I don't think it's, it's, <clears throat> it's the right moment. I mean, like if you ask like whether this thing can replace, it's hard to answer and it's likely no. Uh, but if you answer, if you ask like the, the general, the, the general idea, the general stack, um, my my opinion is like in the five to you know in five to ten years, it it will it will replace um, the whole centralized social network, even probably in shorter times. But I guess five years is pretty op- optimistic, you know, estimation. Yeah. Uh, the Mastodon, they they have pretty similar. There's something pretty similar to Nostr. They have relay, they have nodes, right? And Speaking of Mastodon, um, you know, uh, my company actually, we sponsor or we run, we maintain, um, I think half of the Mastodon traffic, you know, like uh, through through different instances we, we own or we maintain or we donate. Uh, it, it's a, it's a long-term war, you know. Um, it's, you know, if you think like, you know, revolution party, right? You don't know which one gonna win, but, but generally there's like 20 revolution party over there and there's a king, there's an empire. And you say, hey, whether the empire gonna fall, whether the king gonna be dead, right? And yeah, definitely in ten years, right? And which one, which one, read the revolution party gonna be the next, you know, gonna be the next governing party or the next governing, you know, government? Um, the answer is I don't know. So our strategy is to help as many as we can, and as long as they are really um, believe this thing from the heart and hardworking, the builder, we we try to help them, and, and sometimes we help them invest or build together. And and to help answer the question, I don't know which one, which revolution party is going to win, but the revolution is going to be successful. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, I've been talking this thing for many years, but the problem, like, remember Facebook was the cool thing, right? Facebook mm-hmm. was exactly the same thing you mentioned. is the young kids from Harvard, you know, MIT, Boston area, then expand to UK and all over the world. It's really cool, young kid, young generation, not on MySpace not on Skype, you know, not on email and they just gather and look how it became after, you know, this like 10 year, um, it, it actually can influence the presidency election. Um, and and Snapchat is also the cool thing. Snapchat is also the cool thing. I'm not going to criticize CEO Mary, like, you know, um, he's his personal life, but he's definitely not a sin. He's definitely not someone doing revolution, right? The problem is um, once you form, I think the problem is like once, Definitely every 10 years, every 20 years, you're going to have like some kind of a new social network. But once you form a corporate structure like the current company structure, you will fall into the same game rules, the same, you know, theory, the same rules of the, the, the IPO company today. And you even cannot avoid invest, investment from those large VCs and those like, how do you say, um, corporate venture capital. Let's say Instagram, it was a cool thing. And it got acquired. If you like one billion, in, in, you know, you know, on the table, like from that, the dude walk out. You know, this is one billion. But what's up? Like it's like twenty billion, in, in, you know, in front of you. And and I got, I, I think like the the the, the WhatsApp founder they got hard, right? You know, like Instagram founder they maybe don't have no heart. Like the WhatsApp founder they got hard, and they actually, you know, they took the money and they then they, they do regret after like a few years and refused, and they they took the money and found it back to Signal. That's why Signal is still alive. And they still have they have the shitty coin. That's the only two reasons they're still alive. Signal got some coin, and Signal have the the famous backer that sold company to Zuckerberg. That's the only two reasons why we have Signal. And take a look at Telegram. The only reason we have Telegram is because Durov he, he wanted to do some token he's smart, and also he sold his first company to Putin's friend VK. The 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 the, the Russian version of Facebook sold to the Russian Russian Putin's friend and work out with the money. That's the problem. Like every cool thing. Um, it will be it will be on it will be take over by some mm. um you either state on some you know state on badass or it is like big big you know venture capital or big you know like corporate venture whatever you cannot predict prevent that from happening and you also mentioned some very good stuff like in when we back in the days in 2016 and 2017 when i started mass i i don't want to do another you know social network just like twitter and really decentralized 
I want to mirror the whole um, social graph of Facebook, Twitter. And then the, 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 the usually the, the number one question I got from VC is like, what if they sue you, right? This is really realistic question because there was a really large case out there. Um, it's still not decided, HiQ v. Linking. So here's the idea, like HiQ was a pretty good friend, you know, good good boy with Linking when, when Linking was still a standalone company. They hang out together, they used the Linking, you know, social graph, develop a lot of cool stuff. And suddenly Linking got acquired by Microsoft. You know, a Reed Hoffman walk away with a lot of billions. And now HiQ is targeted by Microsoft. And then all these like, you know, cool idea never work out. And then HiQ was kind of crashed by 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 Microsoft and all these functionality to mirror the whole social graph to annotate and, and put new functionality just, just that. This is like sad, sad disaster. And they're still suing Linkin. I don't think that's a really strong case. That's but that's the only possible case when we, we may still got some like you know um Supreme Court judgment um to to really look look down into the idea. So my idea is like first, you cannot prevent state-owned capital or state-owned badass take all your whatever whatever you have. And then, and mm-hmm. you know, if, even in the US, you can you can prevent like, a bunch of lawyers sue you to that, right? Um and the beauty of blockchain or decentralized technology is like it creates some kind of vacuum. Create, kind of, create, create some kind of like vacuum. It's a little bit like, you know, some kind of an anarchism, whatever. It's like, you can sue me, but it, w- it will cost the whole legal team and the US legal system into like a big, big, big problem. Cause like how to define these fucking tokens, how to define all these like, you know, random functionalities provided by random like providers. It will create fundamental problem that the, the internet was never touched in the current legal system. There was a battle like about the encryption, about these things in the 90s when these like the one these California uh, left wing technologies still was trying to fight with DOD and whatever. But but it, it never touched that deep. So when it comes to social network, it's very important. So at some stage, even your, your cool young guy staff will be took by the state-owned capital or this, you know, the, the large guy, and you will never win. Um so that's why the decentralization is very important. But it's not very important to decentralize, provide the same functionality as Twitter. It's just to provide a vacuum that people can create something. And also they got whatever they need. They, they got funded and, and also they prevent themselves um, being intervened by state owned power or, or some like other big venture. You know, that's my opinion. Building the current social network is like the feudalism European countries, right? Like uh, um, France got a king, you know, all these countries got a king back in the years, right? And and uh, they, it might be Jack or Jet Darcy or, you know, doesn't matter. And there's different two ways of doing things. Like one is like you, you run away and, and, you know, through your Mayflower and came to America and this is like uh, the Wild West and people don't pay tax. This is how the the, 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 the real, real Web3 and crypto from the beginning, right? You know, a lot of scams, and a lot of criminals actually, you know, just because there's no regulation, very few regulation back there, right? And this is like the run runaway version. It, it may success and create some some great product like America. I think America is a great product that these people create. And right now the feature is no tax, um, easy to create scam. You know, that's that's the feature we have right now. And and the problem is like it has great things. And we only see you see these great things happen in the in old continent, in the old world. Right. The great things we may have is censorship system, freedom, decentralization. I uh, want to bring that back to the old world. So for mask, we think, you know, um, if you have only have mask down and uh, Noster, you know, all these things, not enough. We want to bring back those functionality to Twitter users um, through the, the easiest way. So that's something we're doing. But ideologically, I think it's like, you know, uh, okay, these guys run to America, they develop some sort of democracy, the, 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 you know, the, it's a masterpiece for the constitution. Let's throw the constitution and, and, you know, pack it together and ship it back to Europe and see what's going on. So that's our idea. Um, and, and back to, um, you know, Charles' idea of what's the product. I mean, honestly, right now, it's not really consumer facing product. It's more like, you know, builder facing product or developer facing product, even speculator facing product. as like, you know, promoting, hey, dude, this is like America, right? This is like some place you don't need to pay tax. If you come to this certain um, colony, you don't need to pay tax until, um, you know, the, the British come here and say, dude, tax. Right? And then, then the, how do you see the great independence war? Uh, I think my, my opinion is like, uh, we probably have another 10 to 20 years. 
um, to have the strong regulation came in and uh, really came in. And that's time we need to uh, we need to cultivate a culture just like the early stage of America. Like we believe this is actually independent space. We believe it's actually something we 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 create a, a, you know a innovative value here, and we need to spread the value back to the old continent. And simultaneously, we need to support the people to fight on their war. So that's my opinion. Um, and the product itself, uh, it's not what American people people to produce today. If you ask like what American people produce today, we use data, yeah, Apple, you know, all this cool stuff, Google. Um, but back then, the only thing they produced, the only product they got is the country themselves. It's the America themselves. Come here, no tax, right? I mean, now it's a lot of tax. But that, that time, the, 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 bad, the, the big slogan is, oh, you don't pay tax to, to the king. Right? So that's that's how how I view the stage of current, no matter decentralized social network or generally Web3 or decentralized web or blockchain. Um, it's more builder-oriented product. And luckily, those builders will one day create great product like, like we have today in the American technology. Um, but now it's not ready. Um, and for, for us, we try to find those those great those great spiritual things they create and spread back to the to the old continent. And actually doing it's doing pretty well. Um, if you tell a user you don't need to leave Twitter, but you're gonna have what Nasdaq can do, what like you know, Mastodon can do, they're gonna be very surprised. That's something like uh, the first time they learn, oh actually I don't need to, you know, I don't need to go to US, I can just vote here and the king is dead. That's our approach. Yeah.